How corrupt is Wall Street? A deep dive into financial manipulation and unethical practices Wall Street, the financial heart of the United States, has long been a symbol of wealth, opportunity, and economic power. However, its image is often tarnished by reports of corruption, unethical behavior, and financial scandals that have impacted millions worldwide. In this comprehensive analysis, we explore the complex web of practices that lead many to question the integrity of Wall Street and the financial industry as a whole, using specific examples to illustrate the depth of the issue. To understand Wall Street's influence on the economy, it's important to note that its reach is vast. From large-scale investments to speculative trading, the decisions made within its institutions can ripple out and affect everything from interest rates to job availability. This centralized power grants Wall Street a unique role, but with that power comes the temptation to exploit it for personal and corporate gain. For instance, during the 2008 financial crisis, Wall Street's risky investments and unethical mortgage lending practices caused massive economic instability, leading to job losses, foreclosures, and a long-lasting recession. This example underscores how Wall Street's actions can have global consequences when reckless behavior leads to crises that impact the broader population. Investment banks play a particularly critical role on Wall Street, providing financial advisory services, asset management, and securities underwriting. Their close relationships with corporations and governments enable them to exert significant influence. However, this influence is sometimes misused. For example, Goldman Sachs' involvement in the 1MDB scandal in Malaysia saw the bank helping raise funds for the Sovereign Wealth Fund, which were then siphoned off by corrupt officials and bankers. Banks may prioritize profits over the best interests of their clients, often leading to unethical practices like pump and dump schemes, where the value of a stock is artificially inflated before being sold off to unsuspecting investors. Such practices, while sometimes hard to trace, exemplify how Wall Street firms' priorities can clash with those of the general public. One of the most well-known forms of financial corruption is insider trading. When individuals with access to confidential information use it to make profitable trades, they gain an unfair advantage over other investors. A prime example is the case of Martha Stewart, who sold shares based on insider information, avoiding substantial losses before news that would affect the stock price became public. Despite strict regulations, insider trading remains a persistent problem. Even high-profile prosecutions have done little to curb the practice, suggesting that the potential rewards still outweigh the risks for some on Wall Street. Such cases reveal a pattern where individuals and even corporations leverage privileged information, making the system feel inherently unfair to everyday investors. Stock market manipulation is another significant concern. Pump and dump schemes, where a stock's value is artificially inflated before being dumped at a profit, can lead to considerable losses for unaware investors. For instance, during the Wolf of Wall Street era, Jordan Belfort and his firm Stratton Oakmont manipulated the stock prices of small companies, causing their values to surge, only to crash once investors realized the manipulation. Additionally, flash crashes, sudden, extreme market drops often triggered by high-frequency trading algorithms, underscore the dangers of automated trading systems. The 2010 flash crash is a notable example, where the Dow Jones plunged almost 1,000 points in minutes, affecting countless investors. When Wall Street firms prioritize short-term gains over market stability, these manipulative tactics reveal the lengths some will go to maximize profit, even at the expense of public trust. Short selling involves borrowing a stock to sell at a high price, hoping to buy it back later at a lower price. While short selling can be a legitimate investment strategy, it is sometimes abused. For instance, in the 2021 GameStop saga, hedge funds heavily shorted the stock, expecting it to fall. However, individual investors rallied on platforms like Reddit, buying up shares and causing the price to skyrocket. This forced hedge funds to buy back at a loss, leading to billions in losses. The saga highlighted how powerful financial institutions can sometimes exploit or attempt to manipulate stock prices for gain, often at the expense of smaller investors. High-frequency trading HFT, utilizes complex algorithms to execute large volumes of trades at lightning speed, 
often generating profit in fractions of a second. While HFT can increase liquidity, it has also raised ethical questions. One notable example involves firms that engage in, quote stuffing, an HFT tactic where they flood the market with orders to slow down competitors, gaining an unfair advantage. Critics argue that HFT creates an uneven playing field, making the market less accessible to individual investors. Moreover, the reliance on algorithms has led to flash crashes, such as the 2010 incident, which can be disastrous for the market and shake investor confidence. Investment firms often offer both investment banking services and research analysis, creating a potential conflict of interest. A notable example is the tech bubble of the early 2000s when analysts at firms like Merrill Lynch recommended tech stocks to investors while privately expressing doubts about their viability. Inflated ratings can mislead investors into believing a company is healthier than it is, resulting in poor investment decisions. When conflicts of interest are not managed appropriately, they can erode trust and lead to financial losses for investors. Wall Street's lobbying efforts are some of the most extensive in Washington, D.C. Banks and financial institutions spend millions annually to influence legislation and regulations. An example of regulatory capture can be seen in the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act in 1999, which allowed commercial and investment banks to consolidate. This deregulation arguably contributed to the financial risk-taking that led to the 2008 financial crisis. When financial institutions wield significant influence over lawmakers, they can lobby for favorable policies that enable risky practices, often to the detriment of the general public. The 2008 financial crisis remains one of the most infamous examples of Wall Street corruption. Banks such as Lehman Brothers packaged risky subprime mortgages into mortgage-backed securities MBS, and sold them to investors as safe investments. When the housing bubble burst, these securities became nearly worthless, and the resulting financial collapse affected millions of families. Despite the significant role Wall Street played in creating the crisis, few executives faced repercussions, highlighting a system that sometimes fails to hold its most powerful players accountable. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, are tasked with regulating Wall Street. While these agencies work to ensure transparency and fairness, they often face challenges in keeping up with the financial sector's innovations. For example, Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme went undetected for years despite red flags, partly due to resource limitations and the sheer complexity of modern finance. Regulatory agencies also contend with lobbying pressure, which can dilute the effectiveness of regulations. Despite their best efforts, regulators struggle to maintain a fully transparent and fair system due to the significant influence Wall Street firms wield. The constant stream of scandals, fraud cases, and insider trading incidents has damaged Wall Street's reputation over the years. Public trust in the financial system remains low as many view Wall Street as a self-serving entity more concerned with profit than ethical behavior. The erosion of public trust highlights the broader implications of Wall Street corruption and underscores the need for stricter oversight and reform. Restoring this trust will require meaningful changes to the culture of accountability within Wall Street institutions. Combating corruption on Wall Street requires several strategies. For instance, Increasing transparency in trading and investment activities can help expose unethical practices. Strict enforcement of insider trading laws, alongside higher penalties for financial misconduct, could deter illegal activities. Additionally, reforming the regulatory system to address conflicts of interest and reduce the influence of lobbying could help ensure that regulations serve the public interest. Ultimately, restoring trust in Wall Street will require an industry-wide commitment to ethical practices and a willingness to prioritize the broader societal impact over profit.